What do I want for Christmas this year? It's hard to say because 2021 was a great year for me. I wrestled some great talent. I wrestled Raven Havoc, Matt Raby, J.W. Dalton. Uh, I even got in the middle of Terry Houston, Belton Creedmore. And, I mean, there I know there's more that I'm forgetting. And, I mean, that my match with Justin Zane was real, was real good, real fun. And I actually won. I, I beat Aiden Blackheart, which is a pretty big deal. Because he's done a lot, and he's better than I am, and I still beat him. So, like... What do I ask for for Christmas? What could I possibly want? And like, I think to myself, what do I need? And um, I guess what I want more than anything is I want my friends to actually respect me. Because it feels like some of them don't. I had just the other day, and I know it's stupid to put so much stock in social media and Facebook, but somebody asked, hey, what wrestlers, name five wrestlers you vouch for, personally, and my friend, Jeff Connolly, someone I managed for, what, five years? listed four names and none of them were mine and I was like okay I'm easy to overlook I guess I'm like okay and then I was, called him out and I was like hey that's only four and he said well you know we always counted the other Travis as two and I was like alright I'll go fuck myself I guess this isn't the first little side jab he's taken like that and I don't know if he's doing it consciously or subconsciously or it's deliberate or, or not I don't know but he says he respects me he says that we're friends I know I'm Jeff Connolly's friend but it seems like I don't know, man. Maybe he's not mine because friends respect each other, right? So maybe he thinks that he's a better wrestler than I am, which is true. But maybe all of his encouragement for me to, like, do more stuff and get out there and all that is is just, I don't know. What, 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 what? Would you eat? What could you think about if it's about something like this? Maybe it's all bullshit. And like, I don't know. When you're, what, what do you do when your friends don't respect you? Maybe he thinks I'm just a blood and guts outlaw bullshit deathmatch wrestler that can't work without weapons. Which is what I think. And a lot of people tell me that uh, that's not the case. He's told me that's not the case. But I don't know, man. Maybe he doesn't believe that. All I know is it hurts when your friend doesn't respect you. So for 2022, my challenge is Jeff Connolly, the closer, the specialist silver-haired psychopath or whatever that phase was versus me in a good old-fashioned wrestling match no weapons no falls coming anywhere or anything like that just plain old wrestling it should be easy right because I'm not a good wrestler because you're better than me and, um, I don't know, maybe after that match you'll have some fucking respect for me. And maybe, um, maybe not.
maybe I'll beat you. But if you're so good and I'm such a fucking outlaw piece of shit, uh, should be easy, right? No reason to not accept this challenge. Unless... I think I might be better than I think I am. I think I might surprise you. I might surprise myself. Maybe there's no surprise at all. You've never respected me. I don't know. I don't know. That's why we need to have this match to figure it out. You said for a long time you wanted to have a match with me. And it just never lined up. That seems to happen a lot lately. There's people scheduled to wrestle me. Just don't. And I feel like... At some point, you gotta start taking it personally.